Want to learn Norwegian anywhere, anytime? Get the Innovative Language 101 app for free. Hi everybody, Annette here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Norwegian questions. The question for this lesson is, how do I say to think in Norwegian? If you look up the verb to think in Norwegian, you'll find three words, åsynes, otru, and otenke. All of these words come from Old Norse. In Old Norse, åsynes means to show, otru is related to the words meaning safe and reassurance, and otenke means to discover or to understand. So, how do you know which one to use? Let's do some examples so that you can learn how to use osines, otru, and otenke correctly. Let's start with osines. Osines is used when you have a personal opinion about something or somebody. Here's an example. Jeg synes han er snill, which means I think he's nice. Another example would be Jeg synes at prøven var vanskelig, meaning I thought the test was difficult. The next one, otru, can be used when you're unsure about something or somebody. Let's do some examples. Jeg tror hun kommer hjem i morgen means I think she'll come home tomorrow. And jeg tror han kan svømme means I think he can swim. In both examples, you're not sure if these are true statements. It's also common to use otru when something didn't turn out the way you expected. For example, jeg trodde prøven skulle være vanskeligere. This means, I thought the test was going to be more difficult. The verb otru can also translate as to believe. Here are some examples. Jeg tror på Gud, meaning I believe in God, and hun tror ikke på meg, meaning she doesn't believe me. The last one is å tenke. Å tenke is used when the act of thinking is significant. For example, jeg tenker på deg hele tiden. I'm thinking about you all the time. Or gi meg litt tid til å tenke på det, meaning give me some time to think about it. Å tenke can also be used when you have planned to do something. For example, jeg har tenkt å rydde rommet i morgen, meaning I plan to tidy up my room tomorrow. Here's one more tip. Lately, people have been using å tenke when they mean å synes when asking for someone's point of view. For example, hva tenker du om global oppvarming? Meaning, what do you think about global warming? This is probably due to the influence of English and is often used by journalists when they want to get an opinion. And that's it. Do you have any more questions? Please leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Hade, vi ses snart. Bye, see you soon.